Now, as I've mentioned, we want to make a... Well, not necessarily a spider walker. We want to make an insect walker. And I guess to start with, let's make just a prototype and see what we can do with that. Let's uh, center this, shall we? Okay, it's nowhere near centered. Need one more line over here. There we go. All right. Now, the way I want to do this, there are two ways. We can... There's the way that is Looking full on. Hungry for games, just subscribe. Thank you very much for the support. There's the way that, you know, true to, to an insect, each leg is, is individually articulated and, um, or articulate, or is that the word? I, I'm not actually sure on that one. But each one has its own bearings and, and moves independently. Then there is the game dev way of doing it, which is a shortcut. I mean, nature is full of shortcuts as well, you know, wherever it can make a shortcut that works, a it does. Gleaming endowment. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bilal. £3.29. A new tip sound? Let's test it. There we go. A gleaming endowment. Your endowment is engleamed. Now, let's see. Hi, ATW. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. I hope you are as well. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to try and make a walker that does it the proper way. So each leg is going to be individually modeled. All right. So we've got our, our basic shape here. Now, this is going to be very hodgepodge. I'm literally just trying to prove that this is going to work more than, than anything else. So we want to make... Um, we want to make the legs. And the way we're going to make the legs... I actually really like the pipe sections, so we'll grab these. Dapper. There we go. Thank you very much, funny man, for 13th month in a row. That does actually mean you've technically been subscribed to me for 12 months at this point. Thank you very, very much for the continued support. All right, let's uh, get that leg there. Then I want to bring it out by one. Then I'm going to want it to go up by one. And then, immediately across. This is going to be the first part of the leg. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. There we go. And there. And down here. Pomp. Thunk. Okay, 
All right, let's have a look. Now, the way I want to wire this is very, very specific. Effectively, each pair of legs needs to do the opposite of the pair in front. Fairly simple, but a lot of people, when they look at it, when a spider walks, for example, or when an ant walks, they'll see a different sort of pattern. Like with an ant, it's um, almost triangular in a sense. And that's one of the ideas that I have to make a very, like a cheat version, a shortcut version of this. It's got um, three legs down each side. And the if you imagine the, the ant from, from um, tail to head, the bottom left, middle right top left will move as one so they'll all move forward plant on the ground move backward lift move forward and then the bottom right left middle top right will move at the opposite time so you've, you've got that kind of symmetry going on in a sense and you, it almost draws a triangle turning is going to be a pain in the bum but effectively we need to decide on the start state so the number one start state, let me just make sure actually that everything is rotating the same way. Um, how are you rotating? They should all be rotating. I want you to, these limbs to rotate the same way and these two to rotate in opposite directions. So, red going out, this one going the other way okay now all of now all of the uh, bearings are basically mirrored so first things first want to get the legs into their start state I want let's say front left to start uh, back a little bit so we'll move that 30 degrees back and front right a little bit forward. really really did, did you did you really have to do that why would you do this to me? Ah, oh, damn it! That one's too... Oh, wait, of course, yeah. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I am the derp, not you. I apologize. I, I apologize. Let's see. The next step is this one should be planted down on the floor. Thank you very much for the subscription, Sir Aldersol. This one should be up in the air. Well, actually, should be planting down. In fact, at this point... When they're both at their most extreme points, both of them should actually be on the floor. So, we want the first limb to be up a little bit in both instances. Now, which way is it rotating? I'm going to need that rotating clockwise, that rotating clockwise. So, both 2 and 5, both rotating clockwise a little bit. A little bit more than the other one, though. So, 45 on both, I would say. My little bit might be a little bit too much. Also, I just realized that I've, I've made a classic blunder here. I've built the limbs with this central part being the longest part. What a noob mistake. I can only apologize for how dumb I am sometimes. We don't want that. We want the, the central component to be the shorter of the limbs. Let's get this sorted out. That needs to be going to the outside. Yes, okay, good. Everything is now working. Fantastic. Right, so we want this to be 30, 4 to be at minus 30. We want both to be at 45. Dunk. Now, if we take this away... All right, good. Next, we want both of these to be at minus... Probably 60, honestly. There we go. Should be good. Edwin, Avak, love my cup of tea watching you. I'm glad you are enjoying your beverage, my friend. Okay, we need that a lot more. Of course, I've got to take into account the fact that this has been lifted up. So we actually do, yeah, we need that a lot more. Um, probably want that at least to 90. Honestly, hmm, kind of want that face into the ground, really. So another 45 on top. Uh, 
It doesn't get us very high off the ground, though. That's the only thing. But maybe that's good enough. I'm not in total sure. Especially because these... No. See, these ones have to be so close. I need to make this much, much longer. Much longer. If that is going to work. Um, you know what? I'm not going to set that one up. I'm just going to hook this one up first. Like so. I want them rotating in exactly the same way. And then this one should be... Well, you know what? We could conceivably... No, there's, there's absolutely no way I could, could fit all of this on. All right, so we need negative thir uh, sorry, positive, no, negative 30 for this one. Or is it positive? No, that one's four. Those are one and two. Okay, that is going to confuse me a little bit. So four is negative, so we want 30, 45, 135. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, well at least they're kind of in the, they're not in the way of each other. And that's all I needed. Donk, let's place you down there. We'll get the second leg set up then. lift the legs properly it kind of does I need those legs to adjust the bottom feet to adjust for what I'm doing to them but it has got the right motion there we go so let's just adjust oh no that's not what I want to do I want the lower leg to adjust compared to what that's doing. I think. We'll see. Frowning Lizard. Hey, Avak. I didn't expect you to have a goatee. It's cool, though. Thank you. My goatee is pleased that you approve. Damn it. Okay, the legs are trying to maintain their position. I mean, it's not doing it easily, but it is doing it. Also, I kind of messed up there. These ones, the ones that are lifting, don't need to adjust. In fact, they should probably rise a little more. And the same down here. 
because they're going to be swinging forward. There we go, and finally the front one. Ooh, that's a bit of an issue. That one seems closer. That's not, that one seems much closer. Okay, you know what? Let's actually have those legs really rise up a lot. We're going to rise them by like 90 degrees. It's going to have a really exaggerated gait. Super exaggerated. It's going to be very comical. It's going to be like a dog with socks. I like to keep the programming simple. Connect in the first and last control boxes the joints from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. With the purple connections and in the middle control box, four, five, six, one, two, three. Then you can keep the programming the same way in each control box. Bottom chap, that, that would actually have been a really clever move. I agree, actually. Wow. Look at Boslam champ. Uh, okay. Well, we'll do that then. Oh dear. I have broken the everything. Okay, so we've got the initial movement for the legs. The correct set of legs rises ready to swing and now the next part is quite simple they need to swing forward so and while they're doing that these legs need to gradually swing backwards so we're going to set that up so the ones that are currently pitched forwards let me just make sure yes so we want the ones that have turned clockwise to turn back by 30 and these ones to swing forward by 30. And it's really that simple. We want that to happen in all of them. Back by 30, forward by 30. Actually, that'll only put them back in their start state. So I actually need it to be uh, 60. Otherwise, it won't do enough. Hello. Looks like Tally's up. Tally has been uh, losing her mask. Her mask has been turning silver. Midna's mask has been getting darker. So it's now, at the moment, it's really, really easy to tell Midna and Tally apart. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So. There we are. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to, what would be ideal? Thank you very much, Arisha. Your subscription is enormously appreciated. If I wanted to be smart, I would start having the, the limbs coming down as it was swinging around. I, I kind of want to be smart. So let's, let's do this instead. While that's going on, while that's swinging forward, we want this to come back back um boom 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 we want this one is the one that we want to deal with we want that to start swinging back by about let's say 45 degrees we don't want it to swing all the way back just a bit It's getting ready to drop. There we go. There we are. So these legs, as they're swinging around, are getting ready to, to lower. Oh, sorry, that planted down by 30. Ah, of course, that's why it's a little bit screw. If that one needs to come back up, it needs to stop carrying all of the weight the way it is. And when it does that, it also needs to... Uh, Pull back by 30, I think, here. There we go. Right, okay. Got it. So, forward by 30. Back by 30. That should be right. Yeah. Okay, we're starting to get there now. 
forward by 30, back by 30. Okay, right, so we're back to a position where our legs have gone all the way through. Now we need to effectively have a full cycle of these legs, of the main legs, driving forward. So we basically need to mirror what we had down here. back but we're now reversed Effect oh actually no I think we've come full circle let's reverse let's see how far it goes do all right I'm doing quite well thank you very much yourself that gob guy Avak confirmed derp Avak was confirmed derp many 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 years ago Okay, so we're back to this point. Let's see where we get to in a moment. Now, if this works, we'll speed everything up just slightly and we'll make it cyclic or cyclic. There's a bit of debate, debate in my uh, comment section about whether it's cyclic or cyclic. Now, I am going to pop this onto a lift first because I suspect quite strongly that I'm going to br it'll break if I try to immediately set it into cyclic. It often does. It seems like it remembers how much it's being used and then tries to correct for that much use of a cyclic mode, even though it wasn't cyclic at the time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need to disconnect this. Punk. Beautiful. Are we ready? This is where we find out if everything has gone right. Go! Is it going to work? It's doing its thing. It is most certainly doing its thing. We have made a walking insect bot. Slow, 
Very slow walking in tech bot. But come on. How awesome is this? And that's it. No, no. Go. go. What? No. What? Walk in insect bot. Calm down. Calm yourself. We want maximum speed. Uh, see, this is what happens when you've got it on cyclic and you do weird things. And maximum fastness. Let us prepare. Go forth. <laughs> this is so janky. This is as janky as my other walker. It's also less functional. But come on. It's got hydraulic tire feet. There are a few things in this universe that is this cool. Also, it can walk backwards. Something the other bot can't do. Doesn't quite walk backwards in as unified a way. I accept this. But it works. Look at my avatar's face. That is the, the face of, of a person who is just enjoying himself. He's thinking, this is the best thing in the world. They said I was mad. They were right. But I've still got a walking robot. Um, get B. Have I ever thought about making a rotating garage so I could store and, like, show off my robots? I have. Oh, my lord. We're actually climbing. We're climbing it? This is not what I expected. I'll be honest with you. Come on, come on, can you do this? Can you climb up over this rock? You, you, you find it hard to find purchase, but you, you're giving it your all. I respect it. No, I do not respect you, you suck. Ah. What an embarrassment you are to me. But the issue with the rotating garage is that when bots aren't on the lift, they are so laggy. Because when they're on the lift, they're not being modelled, physically, that is. When they're off the lift, which you'd have to do even in a rotating garage because there aren't multiple lifts, the result is everything is being modelled all of the time, regardless of whether someone's um, riding it or what have you, and it causes an enormous slowdown. On a bot this complex, I'd probably be able to get, like, two. Really? Are you some kind of jumping tree spider now? You have disappointed me again. This is your last chance. Your last chance to show everyone how awesome you are. Okay, go. We want to go off this cliff. Um, Mope. Uh, mop do no you can't make it go faster with a, an engine unfortunately this is as fast as it's gonna do but this is a very small bot if I were making like a proper like spider walker the legs would be gigantic so even though they'd be moving you know relatively slowly it's slow you know they'd be moving as fast as this but they'd be covering more ground when they did it okay here we go this is the test are you gonna succeed success haha -ha! you've redeemed yourself I love you once again! Ah, oh, this is glorious! Ah, oh, I'm gonna get the Nobel Prize for this. That was the most epic of flips.